So we've got two different ways so far that we can actually turn negative numbers, sorry, positive numbers to negative numbers. So method number one was the magnitude method. And that was simply, if you remember, if we get a positive number, so let's write out very quickly. So that's zero, one, two. Remember that this is our flag. Zero being positive. And then on the other side, if you want our negative numbers, it's simply putting a one. That's our flag. So if we want a negative two as a question, and you're saying that, uh oh, I better use negative numbers, you can use the magnitude method. So this is minus zero, minus one, minus two. But this has problems, as you've seen in the previous video. So method one is the magnitude method. Method two is one's complement. And that is simply taking a number and flipping it. So if we've got zero, one, zero, 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 to flip it into its negative number using one's complement method, it'll simply be one, zero, one, one. But that has problems too. The previous video talks about those little problems. So this video now is going to introduce you to the third method, number three. It's not going to be flipping them, so it's not going to be just adding a flag like magnitude. It's going to be similar to one's complement and it's called two's complement. 